And that was Dan Williams reporting from Zurich. Earlier, I spoke to Wes Harris. He's the managing editor of the online site Soccer. We asked him if FIFA is about to take steps to address its tarnished image. Well, that's what certain, that's the million dollar question, right? Everybody expects FIFA to reform. They want it to reform. They want it to change. Uh, it's just a matter of to what extent. And we still don't know quite yet the full uh, breadth and depth of, of the wrongdoings of FIFA given the ongoing investigation. So in terms of what needs to happen, uh, I think as the investigation continues to unfold, we'll, we'll find out how deep this goes and what really needs to, uh, to occur in order for those things to take place. Now, um, you know, we're starting to get to the bottom of it. Uh, things are progressing. Uh, Jeff, Jeff Webb, one of the uh, seven uh, FIFA officials that were arrested over in Switzerland in May, has been extradited to the United States. His level of cooperation is still yet to be determined. He did plead not guilty to the charges, which isn't necessarily the greatest of signs, but it could just be that he wants to, uh, you know, hasn't figured out yet the right deal with the U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office in terms of his cooperation. But uh, th there was a secret and a emergency meeting called amongst the FIFA officials, uh, the presidents of the six confederations, to be held on Sunday to talk about the, the reforms. Uh, and then that, uh, as well as the election, to choose the next FIFA president uh, to be held sometime between December and February. So I think that we'll hear more to come out of that meeting uh, tomorrow on Monday from the FIFA Executive Committee. Um, are people counting on information that Jeff Webb might have that could potentially um, bring many others down? Absolutely. That is what everyone is hoping for, and that's kind of how this this investigation. As we look to target the ultimate head of the snake, Seth Blatter, and 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 his uh, cronies, if you will, um, you know, you have to start with some of the lower level guys, and and it's a race almost to who's going to cooperate and and in in exchange for a deal, right? And and, mm -hmm. and Jeff Webb, that, that is certainly the the hope there, uh, and then along with the other six FIFA. Uh, uh, officials, excuse right. me, that are still fighting extradition in, in, in Switzerland. The hope is that, you know, now Jeff Webb is the first one. Who, who's next to follow and, and on up the line? Wes, we know this is uh, still a hugely uh, popular sport worldwide, of course. Um, do you think we'll see a dent in that at all because of the scandal? I don't think that we'll necessarily see a dent, to be honest. I think a lot of the true soccer fans are actually very excited about the reforms and that somebody is, you know, sticking it to FIFA finally and is holding them accountable and has called them on the carpet on, on all of the wrongdoing that we know has been going on for, for years and years, decades. Um, if anything, I hope that this uh, rejuvenates the popular, popularity of soccer uh, and you know, all, all of the good things that, that we hope come out of this, uh, I think you'll see a rejuvenated and, uh, e you know, um, spirit amongst the soccer fans that, that, you know, we're cleaning up the game and that it's, it's truly going to live into uh, its name, the beautiful game. Wes Harris, managing editor of the Business of Soccer, thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me.